What's going on folks, Rick here. I'm back with another video and I'm here to do a case review for the Note 9. It's the Spigen Neo Hybrid case. Uh, this case was offered on Amazon for about $13.99 I believe or $14. Uh, I winded up purchasing this case. It's obviously not my first choice of the Spigen brand. I usually go with their ultra hybrid cases. I purchased this case because it had one day delivery and I got my actual device uh, before my case so I went ahead and purchased this just to have protection because this bad boy is very slippery um, so without further ado let's look at the uh, the box uh, this is military grade um, tested so obviously this case uh, could withstand a lot of beating uh, I wouldn't recommend you throwing your phone in this case on the ground. I had a couple of friends that I know that actually wanted to test their, their cases out by throwing their devices on the ground. I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, however, this is military grade drop test rated. So uh, if you do drop it, you should feel fairly safe that it's not going to get damaged. Um, okay, this is their Neo Hybrid case. Let's look at the back. So obviously with the Neo Hybrid cases, it's a uh, two-part setup. You actually have the um, the metal or faux metal um, TPU um, trim. This is a gunmetal um, color. They have different color variants as well. And then you have your your plastic uh, TPU outer shell, which is more of just like a black TPU case. Um, and on the bottom, there's just some instructions of how to install it properly. So without further ado, let's unbox it. Okay, nothing else in the box. Okay, let's see how this bad boy looks. All right. All right, so you do have that like kind of web or or basketball look pattern on the inside, and that's supposed to help with uh, shock absorption as well. Uh, and then you do have the plastic um, trim around it. Uh, again, it's made to look like metal, but it, it is actually plastic. So I did think I. I, when I purchased this, I did think this was a metal ring, so I'm a little bit disappointed by that. Like I said, I typically go with the uh, Ultra Hybrid clear cases, um, but hey, it is what it is. Let's see if we could just slip it on the way it is or we actually have to take it apart. Okay, so I was able to just slip it on. You don't have to take the layers apart just to put it on. So uh, real quick, see how it looks. It does feel substantial, so you know, uh, you do have quite a bit of protection over here. Uh, typically, Spigen boasts their air cushion technology, where, which they have about four air pockets in each corner. Uh, I don't believe they have that on this case. However, you do have that faux metal uh, ring to kind of wrap around the corners to, I guess, help with shock absorption. Uh, I, I, I do think it's a bit of a design flaw because um, you would want the more rubbery um, portion of the case to be on the edges. This feels like a hard plastic that might shatter and break fairly easily and not give that much protection. But again, it is just on the outer lip so you do have rubber underneath it if that makes you feel any better. Uh, let's do a quick hardware tour. You have your volume rockers and your Bixby button. The buttons press fairly easily. Again, this portion is the rubberized uh, portion of it, so they do feel fairly uh, tactile. You have some Neo Hybrid branding right here towards the bottom left of the case. On the bottom, you have your cutouts. You have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, your USB type C port, a microphone cutout, and as well as your speaker grill and your S Pen cutout. Now these cutouts are fairly big and they're open uh, enough that you can get to each portion of the device uh, fairly easily. You do have a large cutout at your 3.5 millimeter 
headphone jack for those people that like to purchase aftermarket headphones and they have like a bigger or thicker plastic to the actual jack itself so that shouldn't be a problem for you as well as the charging port is cut out fairly wide so all different types of chargers should work uh, with this case on over here to the right you have your volume I'm sorry your power button and up here to the top you just have a cutout for your speaker grill the SD card slot is actually um, underneath the case so to get to it you would have to remove the case uh, over here towards the back you just have one large cutout for your cameras your sensors and your fingerprint scanner the one thing I did notice, like I mentioned in some of my other videos, is when I was rocking this phone for about a day or two without a case, uh, I had a hard time distinguishing where the actual fingerprint sensor was. Uh, I, I thought I was touching the camera a lot, of, a lot of times, and it's not very pronounced and distinguished for you to know this is the fingerprint sensor and, until you actually hear the phone unlock. So the speaking cases come with this divot, so it's gonna help you uh, figure out where that actual fingerprint sensor does lie. So it, it does help quite a bit. All right guys, that was my uh, first impressions of the Spigen um, Neo Hybrid case. Uh, if you have any questions in the comments, leave it in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.